Average Guys. Hey everyone, I'm Vic. I'm Darren. Okay, it's so Average Guy Finance. Finance. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so this is a, a video on AMC that we shot on April 2nd. Okay, and this was part of a, a larger video that we did called If Garbage Stocks Played Soccer. So this is our interpretation of AMC back then. And let's see, we're going to do another video, see, let, let's see if it changes at all, okay? A lot happening with AMC right now. Yes, yeah. okay. Okay, enjoy the video, guys. <clears throat> Okay, so now we move to central defense. Okay. So central defense, uh, we got AMC Entertainment. Okay. okay. So AMC, they're a movie theater company and they're founded in 1920. They got about a thousand theaters worldwide with 10,000 screens. Okay. So, but in the last 12 months, they had revenue of 1.2 billion, but they had a net loss of 4.5 billion. So not so good. But of course, like with the with the pandemic, you can kind of understand that they're not gonna they're gonna have a they're not gonna have the revenue. They're gonna have a loss. Yeah. But AMC has been losing money for several years, so this is not. It's not as if like they just started losing money just because the pandemic. Is they've been bleeding money for years now. Okay. And they have a market cap right now of five billion dollars, mm -hmm. and their shares since twenty seventeen are down seventy one percent. Yes. Okay. So, but I the, bought. I bought it. <laughs> yeah. So the reason why we want to talk about AMC is like it's one of those popular stocks that everyone's kind of like that's, that's trading why, and buying. That's right why now, I right? bought it. Yeah. Yes. I thought I thought I was gonna get rich and retire on AMC. <laughs> yeah. So, and the, the point is like okay, like when we're as investors, when we're looking at companies that we want to buy into, we want to be investing in companies that have positive earnings and cash flows right now mm -hmm. and are going to be doing that in, into the future okay and in AMC like it's questionable very much questionable I mean right? the industry could come back but then you have to ask why were they losing money for the last three years right yeah well because everyone's switching to home theaters like people just aren't going to movie theaters anymore so like when you're when you're buying companies you actually have to look at like what what's going on in the industry what, there, yeah. yeah what is the exchange of value right like mm -hmm. yeah I know for myself I didn't really like going to the movies anymore because you get somebody with their feet up on your chair or kicking your seat or yeah. talking or on their phone or yelling at the screen it's just not an enjoyable experience it's and it's so much easier to just watch the movie at home now yeah because especially with all, all the streaming services and now and then also with the pandemic there's been the, the, there's been um production companies who they're just bypassing the, the theaters altogether they're just yeah. going straight to streaming straight to streaming so I mean that's there there's a, there's a lot of tailwinds with the, the theater companies mm -hmm. right now it's like it's so it's probably something that I want to avoid right but but that doesn't mean that if a company showed a loss for a year that you shouldn't invest with them okay what I'm saying is that if a company had a loss so there, there's a lot of companies that posted a loss in 2020 that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad company to invest in. Like, what you have to do is you have to actually look at the company and say, why did they make a loss? Mm -hmm. And are they going to make a profit in the future? Okay. So, like, a good company is Disney. So, Disney posted a loss in 2020. Mm -hmm. But... It happens. It yeah. Happens. But we know that Disney's, <laughs> Disney's made money in the past. And we're pretty sure, like, once the pandemic is subsiding and all the parks open up... They're going to make money in the future. Yeah, and they're not just the parks anymore, right? They just launched the Disney Plus streaming service last, mm -hmm. what was it, October? So, I yeah. mean, yeah, they're, they're... And another one would be Air Canada, mm -hmm. or like an airline, right? So Air Canada's, in 2019, they were very profitable. 2020, the pandemic happened, and they're losing lots of money. And you think, well, maybe they're not a good company to invest in, but... But if you look, if you look at like everyone, like there's so much pent up demand to to go out and travel. Like yeah. as soon as as soon as travel restrictions are going to be lifted, everyone's going to be packing yeah. airplanes to go out somewhere. Right. And it's like it's a big difference between Air Canada and AMC mm -hmm. because people have home theaters, but they don't have home home airplanes. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> so if you want to go to New Zealand, yeah. you can't just like right. Yeah, you just can't just hop over to New Zealand. You have to go on to an airplane. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why 
yeah, just because someone, a company loses money for a year doesn't mean that you, it just completely cancels them out. Right. But you have to look at the you, overall you industry. Look, yeah. And you have to look at the circumstances, what happened during that year, right? Which is, yeah. yeah. But should well, be self-explanatory. Yeah. But overall, I think like with theaters, we're just seeing a, a downward trend for years now. Okay, this is not just a 2020 thing. Okay. So that's why I would recommend... I gotta drop my AMC. <laughs> yeah. It's not coming back, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you get a little price uptick mm, once okay. everything opens up, but... But then drop it. 